Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this channel, this channel, this video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna bring you guys in just a little bit. I'm just gonna be talking. I found, at least in my opinion, now please don't take offense to this, one of the most interesting channels that I have come across in a very long time. Not that there aren't interesting channels because I have found a lot of smaller YouTube channels that I love. Um, this one that I'm talking about is not, um, makeup related most of the channels i watch have to do with the beauty community makeup makeup tutorials unboxings that kind of thing um but i think i'm going to call this you know the most interesting channel on youtube something like that because i mean you have to title it something and i have just been binge watching this channel since i found it like I don't know four or five days ago and I think I've watched just about every video she's posted and she started her channel I think over a year ago um, the name of the channel I have it on my laptop right here um, dissociated is the name of the channel and I'll leave it down below with the link to one of her videos um, the girl that runs it her name is Chloe she's 22 currently she has DID and I'll kind of explain a little bit about what that is. Um, I minored in psychology when I was getting my bachelor's now. I'm like four classes away from my bachelor's. I didn't quite finish it and then I decided I didn't want to do what my degree was in and then went to beauty school and so now I'm going to be a hairdresser. I'm fingers crossed I passed my practical last Monday. We'll find out. I should get an email next week. If I have to take my practical again I'm going to cry. But anyways, I digress. Um, psychology is always fascinated me um, how the mind works the different coping mechanisms that the brain will do I have PTSD um, and that's another um, trauma disorder that happens um, DID is also a trauma disorder now what is DID DID is dissociative identity disorder it was formerly known as multiple personality disorder and it fascinates me because I remember this would have been oh, it wasn't even that long ago I know in 2006 is when I started taking classes again to try and finish and I remember being in one of my psychology classes and multiple personality disorder existed but it was still widely debated on as to whether or not it was real and there were psychologists that were like yes it is there were psychologists that were like no it's not I know it was difficult to get diagnosed it was difficult to find somebody that could treat it I think that's still probably the case because it is such a specialized thing um, but Chloe the girl that runs the channel is the host personality and I've learned a lot about DID just watching her videos because there was a lot of there's a lot of misconceptions about it how it's formed what causes it um, she goes into all of that breaks it down explains it really well like I said she's only 22 years old and just she's able to explain things and make it personal and it's not it doesn't sound like she's reading out of a textbook and just the way she breaks everything down makes it super easy for people to understand um, she currently I think has 22 or 23 alternate personalities now and she explains um, the difference between a host and the primary because I think it was thought years ago that there was a core you know primary personality and then you had all of these personalities that kind of offshooted from that and that they've determined is not the case and the way she explained it was say you dropped a bowl on the floor and it shattered and broke into a bunch of pieces how do you determine which one is the original piece because you have all these fragments so um, they're all fragments even the host personality um, she explained it it DID cannot happen in adulthood it has to happen in adolescence and it happens um, I think before the age of nine between the ages of seven and nine is when your personality integrates when you're very small you've got all these fractured elements that are forming that are developing like I have an 18 month old there's all these different aspects that she's learning she's developing and around age seven 
they integrate and form one core personality. Now, a child that forms DID, there's trauma. There, something happens, the brain um, doesn't integrate, and so the person remains like this, where there's splits. And then as time progresses, because the brain has learned that this is a coping mechanism, after that, more and more personalities can develop. Once somebody has DID, they can develop personalities up into you know, past adulthood because that's the brain's coping mechanism. But if you've never had it, you can't get it in adulthood, if that makes sense. And that was all fascinating to me, how it forms. I knew it had stemmed from childhood trauma, but I didn't realize that you know, adults couldn't get it. Like I can never have DID. Um, now, like I said, I do have PTSD. Adults can develop PTSD and there are some other um, offshoots of PTSD, anxiety related um, disorders that can happen in adulthood, but DID cannot. Um, so Chloe is the host. Now the host personality is the personality that fronts that is up in front in the body the most and also the host identifies with how the body looks she goes into you know because the alternate personality some of them are male some of them are female some of them are children um, some of them can be you know imaginary like animals some of them can be fictional characters they um, the alternates the alternate personalities have images of they don't identify looking like what the body actually looks like Chloe identifies with how the body looks goes by the given name that the body was born with um, and she's the person that's out the most now the host can change she may not always be the host and she may not have always been the host that can change between alters there's protector alters like it's just if you like psychology and stuff like this interests you definitely check her channel out she um actually has switched on camera several times she leaves it in she doesn't edit it out and it's just it's fascinating for me to watch because like I said how the brain works um, you know because lots of children have trauma like severe trauma in childhood not everybody develops DID what causes one person to develop DID and not another it, it's fascinating to me she's just such a personable nice sweet person she's fun to watch like I said she's got a way of presenting the material where it's engaging I don't know I've just really enjoyed watching her channel um, there's lots of other DID channels out there um, I'm subscribed to one other one so if this is something that interests you um, definitely check it out I had no idea that these channels existed like I said I didn't really even realize that multiple personality disorder had been re-termed and is more widely accepted. She said, I think it's one or 2% of the population suffers from DID, which is the same statistic I think as schizophrenia, which fascinates me. Cause like I said, years and years and years ago, and I said, I'm older, um, there was still a lot of back and forth in the psychiatric community, whether or not this was a real thing or not. Um, she goes in and talks about glass and split because those are new movies and how those have hurt the DID community. The most famous case that I remember reading about was the case of Sybil and that was made into a movie and then there was a remake made I don't know 10 or 15 years ago that's really well done. If you've never seen the remake um, I don't know how accurate the original movie was was. I know I've seen it. It was made in the 70s but the remake as far as I know is very accurate more accurate to what actually happened to the real person she was a real person um the doctor that treated her you know coined you know the multiple personality um and there was a lot of debate whether or not you know she was lying that she made it up to further her career whether or not this lady actually had it and this lady did not ever come out and say that no this was a ruse and there was severe childhood trauma so I tend to believe that the Sybil case is real I studied it in class um, like I said it's just it's fascinating I applaud 
this girl for putting herself out there trying to raise awareness like I said she doesn't edit any of that stuff down you can see her triggered you can see her switching on camera it's just it's just amazing and it's worth checking out like I said if this stuff interests you definitely go check her channel out it's worth watching I like I said I've almost watched every single video she's done I just I love it I love her I love all of her alter personalities um, she refers to herself as a system you know us we I just lo love all of them I applaud all of them for putting themselves out there um, the internet can be a very unkind place so yeah I wanted to share this I said this has been my new obsession the last few days I've just been loving it and I wanted to share it because I was like I'm sure I'm not the only one that has never heard of this like these channels existing and thought I would share it with everybody so hopefully this video was not too random please take a moment hit that subscribe button if you have not already hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see everybody in my next video bye guys